All right, this is gonna be a tutorial on overworld conveyor. And I wrote down a few notes about what I wanna talk about. We've got, first we'll go over the setups and then we'll do a few applications. So I like to do a dust lamp lamp, save a little bit of magic instead of a lamp lamp lamp. Um, let's let's um, start with the with the um, setup with the bow, and let's use uh, just a regular bow, just so there's no distracting sparkles. Um, I'm gonna hold out um, my sword, and I'm gonna <laughs> I don't have a sword. Let's get a sword. Um, and I'm gonna stand a little bit away from this wall just so I can have some somewhere I can use dash dust um, So this will be an upward conveyor I'm holding out my sword. I'm shooting three arrows, and then I'm gonna do a quick a y y um, So what happened there um, I did the a y y and it didn't work because I'm looking at the zero sevens, so this is where the, the bombs are. Um, and we have one in slot zero and one in slot eight. And we can see that in the second row, the zero seven is the bomb that I wanted to be in slot nine. So that won't work. We set our index, hold out sword, three arrows. Um, A Y Y. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got the slot nine bomb. Um, when we place the bombs, we are placing the first one in slot zero and then the second one in slot nine. So when we, now what we want to do is we can, we can keep holding out our sword and just press A and that will pick up a bomb and that'll be the slot zero one. But we don't want that one. We want to throw and pick up this one, the slot nine bomb. Because when we are holding this bomb and then we get hit, that should activate conveyor. So that's what activates it. We can go, we can do an A, Y at the same time. It's another method. So three arrows um, and then do a A and Y at the same time and then Y. That should work too. Pick up, throw, pick up. And so that's an upwards as well. So that's an upward conveyor. And the, the conveyor direction is based on timing. So if we rapidly press Y, then we'll get an upward direction. But what if we want a downward direction? Then we need to delay the time between bombs. All right, so we have our index high. Let's try it again. And then I'm going to do something a little different which is I'm going to hold a direction so that I put um, some dash dust after the first bomb, and then I'm going to place the second bomb. So let's do that. I'm gonna hold left and then I'm gonna do Y, A, Y. Let's see if this works. It's based on timing, so it's a little harder. So that didn't work again, um, I guess. Maybe my index was wrong or I don't know what happened, but um, yeah, we went, we got slot eight again. Maybe that was a random slot eight. All right, so we got a slot nine bomb this time. Now we don't have to uh, throw anything. We can just pick up the slot nine bomb, which was the second one we placed. And let's see what happens. There we go. We got hit by the other bomb. And now we have a downward conveyor. It's about something like um, 15 to 23 frames or something um, where we need to w delay. Um, and so you can get kind of a rhythm. Another way to do it, to do a downward conveyor, is to um, try doing something in the middle, like throw a boomerang. Um, let's, so I, I shot three arrows, let's do a bomb and then an air, uh, boomerang and then another bomb. 
So, hang on. <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the bomb over to the right, but um, I picked up the first bomb, which is probably the slot one bomb, and I just picked up the slot nine bomb and got hit, and that worked. Yeah, so that's pretty funny. The gra it, it's a graphical error of some kind. Now let's try Kane's setup. Um, and again, upwards is easier because you can just mash. So I'm just going to hold sword out, blast a block, and then rapidly press Y. We got our slot 0 and our slot 9, and that works for an upwards. So there we go. And... Let's try downwards. So there's a couple ways to do this. We could just time. One more time. Sorry. Okay, that that was that was it. We finally got it. And I was being too slow before. Um, but I finally got the rhythm. So let's make that easier. That was too hard. So what we can do is um, we can place the block. And instead of blasting it right away, let's put down the first bomb. And then we're going to use the timing to blast the block. The time that it takes to blast the block is pretty good. After that, we can place the second bomb. All right. Not sure why that didn't work. Let's try again. Block. Bomb. Blast. Bomb. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. We don't have to rush it at all. Let's try without a sword. Um, and we can use sparkle setups with silver arrows or with red boomerang. Um, so let's get rid of my sword. Um, so again, I have a high index. Again, using lamp. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's try silvers first. So a decent setup here. A decent setup here is to shoot two arrows into a wall, and then another one to let it fly. And then during the flight, you can just set two bombs. Let's try that again. That worked. And again, the second bomb is the slot nine bomb. So again, we want to throw the bomb out of the way and pick up the second one. So that's good for an upward conveyor. Uh, again, we want to do a timing method. So let's shoot two. And then, um, yeah, let's just try bump bump like that. Let's see what that does. That's an upward. One, two, one. Bump bump. That's a downward. Okay. So probably a little early on the timing, but that worked. Let's do another one. Bum bum. There we go. So that's the timing for down. Um, and let's try let's try uh, red boom. So here. I I still want a sword or a, I still want a bow. Um, at least with this simple method, which is just two arrows into the wall, throw a boom, and then oops. <laughs> uh, okay, that may have been a little chaotic because I probably pressed Y three times. So. Arrow, arrow, boomerang, and then bomb bomb. Nope, that was not. That was not it. Um, 
Boomerang. Alright, that got us lot 9. Yeah, we got an upward there. Let's try downwards. Bum bum. We got a slot 8. And we also got a bouncing bomb, which is fun. Bum bum. Okay, that's the downwards. So there we go. Swordless methods. Okay. So those are some methods of setting up downwards and upwards conveyors. Let's look at uh, four or five applications. So I think a simple one would be to go to Mimic Cave. And actually, let's combine that with an East Death Mountain trip. So we have our downwards conveyor. Um, again, I'm going to tap right just to start the clipping state. And when I see Link's shadow kind of match the horizontal line here, then I'm gonna hold right. And we basically got it. And here I tap left to transition, then we can hop down. One more time, let's try it up here just for fun. Because there might be different setups. That works too. Maybe down here, that doesn't work very well. But it's pretty flexible. You can just wait till you're near that line and just hold right. So I don't know the best movement, but I kind of zigzag just so I don't like hop off. Let's try it again. Um, clipping state, hold right, tap left, hold right. So now I'm over here. Um, yeah, if I just hold right, I'm going to fall down here and I'm in heck. I can't, I can't get out of here. So we don't want to just hold against an edge. We want to keep away from the edge. We don't want to hop that. So, all right, so I'm a bunny. Let's try Mimic Cave. Um, this is kind of an oddball check, but it'll kind of demonstrate a couple things. Um, and if you saw Gland's glitch exhibition in 2021, I believe, at GDQ, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of dead rock antics here. He demonstrated this glitch in particular. So what I just did there was a um, a, a push against the, the slope that's sort of above. And I, I messed this up. But, um, let, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's try this again. So first of all, the easy thing to do would be, so what I'm kind of going to try to do is I'm going to enter this cave, mimic cave, and I want to be straight above that, right? So I'm going to, we could try a slope, like, over here. And instead of just pushing right into it, I'm going to hold sword out. And this will keep Link facing up. And th that way we can enter the door. So yeah, let us let let me go over that again. And I'll also go over this. You, you can kind of... This is harder to get the clipping state with. Because we're going away from the slope. But we can push toward it. Um, either with a quick right. Or with a quick upright. Um, and you kind of have to be lucky here but another way to do this is to select buffer yeah that worked um, and then what do we do here we are going to um, let link disappear for about five seconds basically it can be five or more it can be four or more so four and I'm just gonna walk down and then, yeah. So it screen wraps Link, it puts Link behind the chest, and then I just walk, find the chest, open it. Then you gotta save and quit out. But let's do something a little bit more useful. Let's go to Laser Bridge with no Moon Pearl. 
So how do we do that? So we're above Laser Bridge entrance, and we want to be in the middle of the slope to get there. Let's try that. I don't think that'll work, but let's try it. Yeah. A lot of the time, we would just want to, like, meet the slope and just get an up left and see if Link goes left or down left. Like, that was a down left. That'll probably work. Yeah. So that works to get us in the laser bridge. And I'm going to save state here. This I found a little bit tricky, but it's really not bad. Again, we kind of want to wait about five seconds. Even less is good. And here we can get out of the doorway and dungeon bunny revive. And then we are Link. And now that we're Link, we can use a bomb to get out of the wall. So how do we do that? Um, so when you enter, you start going down and you're going to disappear for about five seconds. And what happens is we'll, we'll be below the doorway. Then we want to hold up and go through the doorway. And that gives us a kind of broken transition that puts Link sort of around here where we see him. Um, yeah, in the middle of the screen. So we can just keep falling off, basically. Until Dungeon Bunny revive. So, um, what I just did there was I waited about two seconds, and that put me, that is like, it's not very good, because it put me at the, at the same door where I just was, and now I have to walk all the way up here to Dungeon Bunny Revive. And that's no good. Um, I don't know if I can get hit by a laser there. One moment. Yeah, or if I don't go far enough, then... Um, then I'm going to... Oh, yeah. So that could work, but it's still not a great idea. Because if we go too quickly through the transition, then we are going to get stuck. So we don't want to do that. We want to wait a few seconds. Again, five is safe. And then Dungeon Bunny Revive, just hold right. Hey, what's up, Anders? I'm just going over a few applications of Overworld Conveyor. And here we are. Again, just bomb out. And we can come back here if we have to. But now it's open, and we can do Turtle Rock. All right, what else? N Next, let's go into Misery Mire. So we might want to break open a seed by going into Mire in Cave State. So let's go over that. And there are two gotchas to Misery Mire, basically. In other words... Um, we're going to get to Misery Mire through a drop-down hole in, in the Lost Woods, and we're going to map wrap to the Lost Woods. And when we fall down that hole with Overworld Conveyor, there are, <laughs> there are a couple of issues that come up. We'll probably start from Mountain Cave, we'll probably clip to Hera, and when we do that, let's just leave door state before exiting. So what I just did there was I just held left until we left the doorway and then I exited. So that's the first gotcha. So that'll ensure that we're in cave state when we get there. The second thing to do is to not slash or dash or spin or use the hammer when you are outside of Hera because of something called sword-activated tiles. 
and what I want to do instead is spin speed all the way to the bridge and obviously we'll keep sp using that until we get to where we want to go which is here so we don't want to slash or dash around here because it will for some reason switch Link's EG state after the, the fall all right but once we're over here we can dash again so what we're going to do is we're going to do an overworld conveyor going up so i'll set my index then um we're going to do the method where we kind of mash i'm going to try the uh three arrows and then a Y Y and that worked so we got an upward conveyor now it's a little bit tricky to get to get uh, the right pixel here and it's because we don't have a slope that leads directly there instead we have to kind of be get pushed off of this slope here um, and so to do that we want to tap left so we're holding sword out and we want to select buffer to the left for, I believe, two frames. And that should push Link. And there we go. We are on X coordinate 700. And that's exactly where we want to be. And we saw Link go one pixel to the right, which is exactly where we want to be. So that's good. So from here, we can just keep... We can kind of let go, but we can also keep holding sword out. It doesn't matter. Um, there might be a sword activated tile here, but we probably won't hit it. But if we just hold the sword out, we're safe. Let me do that again. All right. So um, another thing that could happen is when we hold left, this just happened to happen. <laughs> Link sometimes moves to the left, and when that happens, just back up, try again. I think we want to back up. Yeah, we could go to the right. Oh, this is funny. Yeah, so to se I didn't say how to set this up. So when we get do the upward conveyor here, we want to hold up along the um, slope. And then that'll get us into the corner. And when we're in the corner, we're at 6FF. All right. So whenever Link pops to the left, that's not good. We just want to try it again, which is a drag. I don't think there's a way to avoid this, but maybe there is. So Link moved one pixel to the right, which is perfect. Another way to do this is to do light taps. But again, sometimes you just get popped to the left, which is not good. Another thing is sometimes you don't move to the right far enough, which might be a three frame trap, a three frame tap. I'm not totally sure. But if you do a two frame tap, then you'll see Link go to the right a, a pixel and that works too and I don't recommend this because it's gonna be hard to react quickly enough to see whether you go to the right one pixel or not so if you just select buffer there you go seven zero zero link goes to the right one pixel and we're in conveyor state and we've map wrapped and we're in lost woods so now what we want it to do is to fall into the thieves hide thieves hideout is that what we call it in the lost woods basically there's two frames where we can do this when we're in overworld conveyor state we move at uh one pixel every two frames and the trouble with the setup is there are two pixels that you can see that will work but only the second frame of the first pixel and the first frame of the second pixel so we're 
closely approaching the frame where we want to be. I'm just talking over it. But basically what we're looking at here is the um, the the wall here, um, which looks like um, the ether tablet area. We're going to watch Link's hat. This is a hat cue, unfortunately. Um, oh yeah, and so there's a, a dark line, a thin line that goes through, and... This is the first pixel, uh, first pixel, basically. I'm not sure if we're on the frame yet. So I'm going to advance a frame. And Link moved, so now we're on the second pixel. Now we might be on the first frame of it, or I could have messed up and we're on the second. Let's see what happens. Link fell down. That's good. And what that means is we did it right. <laughs> if we were too late, we would get... Uh, an infinite um, transition. And um, yeah, so we're still in clipping state and now we're in mire. And this is really on the edge of no EG, but it's not EG. Um, and we have not made any improper layer transitions. What we do want to do here, however, is we want to bonk off the wall to get back onto land. Um, I'm just going to tap up here now that I see Link's... Um, excuse me, I'm going to tap left. Um, since I see Link's um, hat kind of matches the, the, the pattern of color on the ground. Um, so actually, I'm going to just hold left. That'll be fine, too. Um, and so here, I you know, I can move left. I don't want to tap down. Instead, I want to dash turn down and hold, da hold the dash. So there we go. All right, here we go again. We're back. We're approaching the pixel. I'm going to save state here. And... We're, we we see Link's hat approaching the um, the the dark line, and so there it is. I touched it. So what is this? This is one uh, A, all right. And I think I'm on the first pixel. Yeah, I mean I'm on the first frame. This is the second frame now. So this will work. What I did was I saw the the, the sparkles move. And Link didn't move, right? So that means we're on the second frame of this pixel. The next frame will also work, but instead I'm just gonna press A to release the sword. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's important to not release with B because that would mean you're holding the sword uh, after unpausing. Um, so again, we can't press down and dash here, but we can press left and dash turn. Oops. I went too early. Now this is an infinite scroll or something. I can, in the practice hack, I can actually, yeah, I can just reload the state. Um, that was the second pixel. Oops. <laughs> um, let's look at the second pixel again. That's the second pixel. Now let's advance again. So that's going to be the second frame of the second pixel, and this will fail. So if I release... Oops, it's an infinite transition. So that's no good. And then um, this is the first frame of the first pixel. And what we saw was the camera adjust. And that's not good. And Link, of course, doesn't continue the conveyor. So. <laughs> Why? I guess that's rando. Now about this one. So. 
as we're as Link is moving, I like to just wait till Link gets to the queue and then dash turn down and charge down. Um, but yeah, if you fall, you're stuck. You can't get out of here. Or if you dash too early, it's kind of, yeah. Then you hop the ledge and now you're in EG and that's not right. Um, so yeah, I like to wait and then just start ch charging. But instead of doing that, you can just tap left. And it's a little bit safer. But what happens if you grab? You can you can kick and then go left. Or you can actually I think you can just tap up. Yeah. And then dash turn down and bonk. So there's a couple ways out of there. <laughs> too late and too early. Just right. So there we go. Now we're in Mire. And yeah, we're in Cave State Mire. Sprites should be synced. So, we gotta watch out for enemies. We could even go to Vitreus. So, there we go. So that's Mire. A couple more applications. Let's go over just a couple more. Um, so I'm in Light World. I'm gonna go to Desert and what we're gonna do now is get into GT. This is kind of a tricky one But I know Taj Show likes this one a lot and Shout outs to Taj Show for coming up with all this stuff um, Block Bomb Blast Okay, we got it. And we got the timing, right? So we got the downward conveyor. Okay, so anyway, we have to get into this right hand door. I mean, the, the right side exit of desert. Um, and that is a little bit tricky. Um, and what we need is we need a small key uh, because we're going to upper GT. Um, and we're gonna want a big key as well. Or we could use hook pushing. So what we want to do here is, again, it's a tricky where a, a tricky one where we want to hold up left or or left. Up left is what I find works best for me. And I saw Link move down left there, which is probably good. And then um, I see that the X pixel is at C2, and that's good. We want C0 or uh, or farther, but we didn't get it. And for the Q, we want Link's ear to be just to the right of the notch that's sort of in the wall. And that was not it. So that happened to be it. I saw a link at a downwards movement and I didn't think it would work, but it did anyway. Um, so there we go. And we're gonna tap up and we wanna wait for Link to disappear for about a half second. And that's it. One second, that'll work too. But, and we just tap up to kick into the next room. But if it's any longer than that, well, we've gone to the wrong place. Basically, we've wrapped back to this room. But yeah, it's about half a second. And then here we are. And we can finish GT from here, or search the chests, or... Oh, we need a fire source as well, obviously, since we're in this room. So there we go. 
And there's one more final thing I'm going to show, which is sort of a, another desperation check. It's going to be library to spike cave. So for this, we want an upward conveyor and we, we want to go up into the library. I use the item dash mesh method here, and that worked for me. Um, so what do we want exactly here? Um, we're we're near Checkerboard Cave, and we I believe we want to be to the right of this cactus. Um, so I'm gonna hold out sword just to make sure I'm facing upwards. Nudge to the right, get an easy clipping state, and let's see if this works. Am I lined up? Yeah, I'm lined up, so that's good. I'll do a save state here. Now this is tricky, and it's also very risky. So basically, we don't really want to do this in a race. We could, but it's risky. Um, and so what I've done here is I'm holding A just to get set up. And um, Link is grabbing the top of this bookcase here. And we're going to let go and then count 10 seconds. Then we're going to tap up to transition. Um, and in the practice hack, we, we can watch the coordinates. So we want FF5 to FEB. So let's count three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, we're kind of approaching ten. So here we are in the F coordinates, F F five to F E B. All right, so that's still getting there so there we go we've made it so for from here we we tap up or if for some reason we're select buffering maybe that's the way to go uh, i'm just gonna hold up out of this and there we go we've transitioned but actually we didn't make it and i'm not certain why we didn't make it i thought it was first frame of FF5, maybe it's second frame? Or, mi yeah, maybe it's the the lower frame of it, or the lower sub-pixel or something, or the higher, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. But uh, regardless, that was too soon. So let's try again. So let's try this FF3. I'm going to just hold up here. There we go. Now Link made it. We're in Spike Cave. We made it to the chest. Um, we re I said this was risky before and that we don't want to do it. Not only because there's no queue and you'd have to basically set a timer. Let, let me try it without the use of... Um, the coordinates, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up. We did it. So that's good. Between FF5 and FEB, it's a 20 frame window. Um... And so there, it's a decent window, but it, it's extremely risky because if you do it wrong, you're going to be basically pushed out of um, the um, 
You're just going to be pushed out of bounds. Um, and it'll crash the game, perhaps. Yeah, it's a, it's a Postman mini game. It's it's great. Thank you for reminding me of that. But there you go. There's five or so applications of Overworld Conveyor. So thanks for watching.